today on Jig Heads will take you along for some deep water lake trout through the ice. Could this be the 20 pounder we were hoping for? Stick around. Jig Heads starts now. I think it's a, I big think it's a lake trout, dude. Seriously? Yeah, it's a lake trout. <laughs> sticks because when we come back we'll head to the frozen waters of Lake Superior in search of trophy deep water lake trout. We'll see you in a few. Welcome back to Jig Heads. Before the break we told you we'd be heading out for some deep water lake trout but before we do that we gotta have just a little bit of fun. Boys and their toys when Jason's done screwing around I promise you we'll get that shack set up and get to fishing. Enough horsing around, let's go lake trout fishing. Now that Jason's got the shack set up, welcome to Lake Superior. A part of Lake Superior where we're hoping for that big 30 pound lake drought to jerk our arm off, try to fit it through that hole. So let's get started. We're gonna cut up some bait, get our bobbin sticks ready, and get down to the bottom. I know there's fish down there and they're just waiting for us. Dude, this is a nice fish. Oh man, I was just teasing this thing. I was just getting my bait to bounce, just boing, 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 and it would go slack. And I boing, 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 and it would go slack. Finally went slack and I sat, oh, he's kicking his head. This is a big fish. When you're down 200 feet, oh, I don't want to lose him. He's kicking, he's thrashing. Oh dude, this is going to be nice. When you, oh, I don't want to lose this fish. Man, they're biting so stinking short. I mean, they're hitting it on the drop. So you can't, it's not, you're not feeling the thump, you're feeling the weightlessness of your jig. Oh, dude. Oh, how big is it? How big is it? Oh, this is big. Oh, Jeez. Jeremy. Oh, my goodness. Look at this fish, man. Look at this fish. Oh, oh, look at this fish, dude. Oh, he's in your line. He's, in your line. he's thrashing in your line. I don't want to lose him. This thing is thick. Dude, he's barely hooked. 
Yes! Oh my... He, he's stuck on your line, man! He... I gotta get him off. <laughs> we got that treble hook out. Let's take a look at him. This is what we came out here for today. Monster lake trout. We just got started. We've been having a lot of bumps. They're biting short. But they might turn on as the sun comes out. Like I said before, when you can feel them kicking 200 feet down, you know it's a monster. This is awesome. That's a hog. That is a big, big fish. I'm gonna hold him here. He wants to go. Oh, there he goes. That thing just shredded my hand. He got us all tangled up. And that's what it's all about. My heart's still pounding. Oh, I need to take a break. We are using hand lines with wire line, 200 feet of water. I just let that fish go, and we got another one on that's got to be comparable because he is head shaking all the way down on the bottom again. I had one in between those two, but my hands are slipping on this line. They're hitting, and they have some weight to them, and I just can't grab the line. Man. I tell you what, I'm on cloud nine right about now because this has all happened in a matter of about five, six minutes. When it's on, it's on. It's another nice fish. Oh, we're at the leader. We're at the leader. What do we got? I see him. Oh, he's over there. What do we got, man? What do we got? You got a nice fish on. <gasps> oh. Oh, look at the gut on this thing. Oh, dude, what's sticking out of his mouth? Uh, you see that? Oh, dude, what do I got? Oh, what the man. heck did it just do? It puked, man. Oh, look at this fish. Come on, come on. Stay on the line. We got him. Now this is a tub. What a fish, man. Look at the gut on this thing. Short and chubby. Man, he's hooked good, too. There we go. Perfect. These fish are lighting up, and man, I can't even describe what I'm feeling right now. What a monster. He's got a belly. That other one was kind of streamlined. This one's got rolls. Let's get her back in the water. Whoa, fish loose, fish loose. Holy crap. What a hog, man. When that thing takes up your hole, you know you got yourself a fish. You gotta check out what this thing puked up when it came in my hole. What we have here is about a 15 inch half digested herring. This is what these fish are feeding on down here. I'm gonna compare it to the size of my bait. This is the jig we're using. This is a big jig when you're talking fishing. But it doesn't even compare to what these things are eating. And that thing had two more of these in its belly. I could feel. These things are not your average fish. You ever get a chance to fish them, give it a shot. You're not going to regret it. When we come back, we take into a huge monster. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. Welcome back to Jig Heads. Today we're out on Lake Superior jigging for deep water lake trout. We're talking about depths of up to 250 feet. We're fishing with wooden bobbin hoops wound with steel line, and we're using various jigs tipped with strips of herring. This is absolutely insane. The lake trout are on the feed. You know, I've been having a tough time this morning, and I just switched baits. I actually broke off. I had a fish hit. I set the hook and could barely move the thing off the bottom, and I broke my line, made me sick to my stomach. So I figured, you know what, I've got this bait, it's in my bag, I'm going to try it. Looks like it's going to catch me a fish. It hasn't even been 30 seconds. I lifted it off the bottom maybe three times, if that. And Jason goes, dude, you're going to catch fish on that, get ready. It's not very big. It's, uh, it's kicking a little bit. It's a smaller fish, but it's all right. A fish is a fish. 
Oh, where did the ice? Look at that, man. Oh, he's thrashing. Oh, there he goes. What did he do? <laughs> Shoot. Oh. That's all right, though. I mean, we got to see him. He wasn't a giant monster hog. He's a good eight, nine pounder, but now I know my bait works. If I can get to the bottom and it takes me 30 seconds to hook another one, I'll forget all about that fish. <laughs> Sweet. The last fish I caught, I should say lost. He smacked it on the drop. And when I went to lift up, it was completely limp. I was like, oh man, I missed him. But then when I picked up, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, right, man. <laughs> Fish on. <laughs> oh, this is a heavy fish, Jason. This is really heavy. That's all awesome. Oh you my to, goodness. You want me to pull up? <gasps> Dude. Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? This is a heavy. Oh, he stopped me. <gasps> I said the next 20 pounder is gonna come on this bait. I think I got him hooked. Jason, I can't move it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Jason, Jason. You need help? You want to get my line out? No, no, there's that weak. Oh my goodness, dude. He has stopped me about 15 feet off the bottom and won't give up. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have a 30 pound fish. <sighs> this is going to take some time. You cannot. Oh my goodness, Jason. Oh I can see my that. Goodness. Don't lose him, man. Don't say that. <laughs> Jason, this is a big fish. Don't pass Seriously, on. Seriously, I'm I'm getting sick to my stomach just because I'm I'm afraid. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> my knees are gonna start to shake. <laughs> oh, man, I just wanna see it. Oh, oh swivel, swivel. We're at the swivel. Oh, what do I have? Dude. What do I have? This is a nice fish. What is it? Oh, oh, he's in my line, man. Oh, no. He's in my line. He's, he's in my not. line. He's in my line. He's not. Take it easy. How big? It's a nice, nice trout, man. Oh, Look. Big. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Look at this head. That oh. trout has got a freaking monster melon. I'm hooked with all the hooks. <gasps> we gotta look at this thing outside. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at that monster. <gasps> nice job, man. Look at the size of that fish, man. That right there is all of 20 pounds. Oh. Holy smokes. Look at that fish. Oh, we've got to get him back down the hole right away. Let's get back in the shack and let him go. Look at that thing. Oh. All right, let's get him back in the shack and let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Jason, that thing is huge. That is more than 20 pounds, man. It, that thing is hard to hold up. Oh, 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 he wants to go. Oh my goodness. There he goes, dude. I just told Jason just minutes ago when I was dropping that bait, I said the next 20 pounder is gonna hit this bait. You guys saw it. I got to the bottom, jigged, bang. 20 plus pound lake trout. Dude, I'm pumped. Let's do it again. <laughs> nice job, man. That was oh, awesome. Man. Dude, he fought and fought and fought.
That thing stopped you it's, on the bottom. It did. It stopped me. I mean, I got him off a good 12 to 15 feet, and then that's it. He's like, no, I'm not leaving my home. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome to see that fish go back unharmed right back down to the bottom. The girl maybe be a 40-pounder or another, I don't know, 20 or 30 years, however long it takes. But he'll be there next time for the next guy, for me and Jason. And that's what's important, seeing fish like that go back to the bottom. And they're there for tomorrow. When we come back, the afternoon bite is definitely underway and we just can't keep them off our hooks. You'll want to see how we end our day. Fish on, the afternoon bite is definitely underway. We've got a couple fish here in the last few minutes. It just keeps getting better and better. It's coming up pretty easy now, but man, definitely woke me up. Moved my arm a good six inches to a foot. That's what it's all about too, these fish, when you're fishing with this wire line, I mean, they'll, they'll move you. And it's a feeling that you'll never forget and it keeps you coming back for many, many years. Oh, nice fish. I can see him glowing down oh, there. That sun is just shining off him. Oh, oh, look at this. That's not a bad fish, Jay. You hear that? that thing's barking. Stay. He's mad. He's mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get that hook in my hands. Come on, now. He's a thrasher. Just get him. Oh. Got him. Oh, nice fish, man. Oh, what a brute. He is hooked good. That trailer hook does it every time, especially when they're biting short. Man, there are just some hogs out here. This one's got that roll action going on in the belly. <laughs> it never gets old. It's nice and thick. He's got some scars. This one's, uh, man, he's done some battles in his day. This has been an incredible day. It's starting to get late in the afternoon but we're gonna keep on fishing and see if we can't get a couple more before it's time to take off let's get this thing back down to the bottom thanks for the fight let him get his bearings get the tail in the water and there he goes you know you see these things take off up here on the top and they go down with so much force and so much speed you wonder what it's like when they're when they're actually hitting that jig when they decide that it's time to eat Man, I mean that one, my hand was here and it took me there. And your heart stops, it doesn't get any better. This thing's got some weight, man. It is thrashing. It's been thrashing for about 40 feet up. This thing's gonna be a decent fish. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him through the floor, look at him through the floor. Oh, dude, this is a nice fish. Oh. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. <laughs> All blue scars again. Yes. <laughs> Look at this fish. Come on now. Gotta get it. Oh, it's got a herring. Got him. Check out this fish. This thing is super thick across the back. He's got a big old gut. Man, he's got a big old herring in there. These things are on the feed. Well, he wants to get back down to the bottom. What amazing fish. And there he goes. Man, this thing nailed it. Absolutely just nailed it. I picked up right off the bottom. From oh, whoa, whoa, he's shaking his head. From my jig and just stopped me. I set the hook and I pulled him off the bottom a couple feet and he turned around and wanted to go right back down. He's uh, he's shaking his head pretty good. I don't know how big he's going to be, but he's a decent fish. Man, shoulders, you start pulling fish out of 200 plus feet of water, they start to get sore after a day like today. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, oh, nice fish, dude. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, look at this fish. <laughs> He's thrashing. Do not let 
go of my vein. Oh, his jaw is stuck on the bottom of the ice. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, man, we were just thinking about maybe... Oh, I'm all messed up with my line. Oh, we were just maybe thinking about packing up in a little bit, starting to get towards the end of the day. And I thought, you know what? We got one more in us. <laughs> and there he is. Let's actually step outside behind the ice shack and get a better look at this fish before we get him down the hole. <laughs> what an incredible way to spend the day out on Lake Superior, jigging lake trout. And we caught some hogs today. We're gonna get this one back in the water. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. I don't know, we might have one more fish in us, but you know what, fortunately we're out of time, so get out, do some fishing. If you get a chance, lake trout in the winter, doesn't matter where you're at, you know, one of the Great Lakes or up in Canada, they're a blast. You gotta try it. Hey, we'll see you next week. Absolutely love it. <laughs> oh man. Oh. He says take that and go home. Alright, we'll pack up. <laughs>